am the Homeschooling Grammy and it's Homeschool Evaluation 2020 time. So this is a collaboration that's being hosted by the Ingrid Chronicles and um, there's going to be a bunch of us homeschooling mamas or grandmas like me joining in on this collab just to give you an evaluation of how our homeschool year is going. If this is something that you're interested in, please stick around. Um, there's going to be a link to the playlist down below and there will also be a link to the Ingrid Chronicles channel. So if you are ready, let's get started. I will be answering 10 questions. Okay, so question number one, have you met, come close to, or exceeded your homeschooling goals? I would say that we're pretty much right on target for our homeschooling goals. Um, it was a little sketchy in the beginning of the school year, but as the year has progressed, we've, yeah, I think we're, we're doing pretty good this year. I'm, I'm pleased overall. Okay, question number two, assessing your homeschool curricula, are you happy with the choices you've made? Why or why not? Okay, so the beginning of the school year, um, I had, math is the thing that I wasn't happy with. It just, and you know, and it's funny, it'd been working, it worked for, it worked for K, it worked for first grade. We got into second grade and we kind of like hit a wall. Um, so it was kind of scary, you know? I mean, I didn't, it wasn't even the money part of it. It was like um, kind of ha have this aversion to anything that's online. And it has been the best thing that we could have ever done. So at this point now, I'm extremely happy with the curriculum choices that I have made. Um, and that's only because I made the necessary changes and I have seen massive improvement. Question number three, will you be introducing anything new into your homeschool? Well, I kind of already did. <laughs> um, I don't have any other plans for anything new at this point. Um, but you never know. That's what homeschooling is all about. You know, if you just kind of roll with Question it. Question number four, is there anything that you will take a pause from or discontinue doing all together in your homeschool moving forward? The curriculum that we decided not to use, I still have it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm holding on to it, but I am holding on to it. So I guess probably what I need to do is stop holding on to it and either give it to somebody else who could use it or sell it or something. I need to do that because the decisions, you know, it's been made. So I'm not sure why I'm holding on to it. Okay, so question number five, old habits die hard. Do you find yourself repeating old habits that are not productive for your homeschool? If so, how do you plan on eliminating this distraction? I don't really think, I was trying to think, I don't think we really have like anything that's really distracting to us right now. Um, yeah, I'm kind of, I just kind of go with the flow. I guess because I've already done this before, I don't worry so much. Um, yeah, it, I don't think that there's really anything. I like to get started like right away in the morning. We, we tend to do that too. Um, I mean, we have our days where we don't. And of course, if we don't get started earlier, then we tend to not get very much done. Um, what I've noticed for myself and even for my grandchild is that we are more morning people and the best work happens in the morning. So, um, we try really hard to do that. It doesn't always happen. Like I said, but yeah, I don't really think that there's anything too terrible of a, a bad habit at this point that I would want to get rid okay, of. Question number six, examining this current school year and what areas have you improved and strengthened? I would say that I improved with going with my gut. Like seriously, you would think after homeschooling for all these years that, you know, I would just go with that. But sometimes I question myself um, and I think, well, you know, maybe we just need to stick this out just a little bit longer and it'll everything will work out. But that's that's not always the case. Um, so I think I would have made my decision sooner because um, I actually was using two curriculums even for a while, afraid to let go of the one um, just in case. And I should have just let it go. So I, I would say that that's an improvement for me. I let it go. All right, question number seven. What area in your homeschool may be lacking or needs improvement? What is your plan of action to make this area better? I would say for me, things that are hands-on, it's... I really, I really like to do them, but it's the whole preparation to do the hands-on type stuff. 
um, like our science tends to be kind of hands-on and, um, you know, that whole thing where it says, oh, you should have these things in your, you know, in your household to do. You don't necessarily always have those things and I'm not real good about looking in advance. And so we tend not to always do a lot of the hands-on stuff. Um, and it's actually really fun. So I really need to do more of it. Um, I think it would be more fun for her and for me. Um, and it's just on my part, not taking the time to plan far enough in advance to be able to do those things. Yeah, so that that's one of the things I need to On to question number eight, reviewing your planner. Did you over or under plan lessons and activities? If you have any issues, how did you resolve it? Okay, so I'm not a huge planner in advance. I really am a fly by the seat of my pants type of girl in a lot of ways. So I have a generalized idea when the school year starts. Obviously I've chosen the curriculum, you know, that kind of thing. I tend to choose curriculum that's kind of self-guided. Um, and I pull from all different areas. So I can't even, I can't say I underplan. I can't say I overplan. I don't even plan that far in advance. Sometimes I literally only plan one day at a time. It really depends. Um, if we're struggling in an area, I will wait until we finish that day's work to see if like, say for instance, math, say she's struggling with a concept in math. If she's still struggling that day, then we don't move on to the next lesson the next day. So I'm not one that has to have my whole planner all filled out like a week in advance, six weeks in advance. You know, I don't do any of that. I'm really like a day by day. Um, type planner. Um, sometimes if there's things that I know that are definitely going to happen during that week. Um, the only thing I can say that maybe we were a little stretched thin was the holiday time. It, we were really stretched thin during the holiday time. She was in a production, a local uh, theater production, and she had, you know, a pretty hefty part. And so we had play practice sometimes three hours a day for like six weeks prior to Christmas. That was a little rough, um, but I wouldn't have, and I can't say that I would even have changed that or want or would have wanted to resolve it because it's something that she loves and it's her passion. Question number nine, using a scale from one to 10, how would you rate your homeschool? I don't know, seven or eight, give or take. Um, probably more give, you know, seven, eight. Right, and that I round eight, I guess, because I think there's always room for for improvement. Nobody's ever going to be perfect at this. I don't care how long you've done it. Um, no one is perfect at homeschooling. We get better. Um, we learn a lot along the way. Um, obviously, I've learned a lot over the last. I don't want to tell. I'm not going to give away how old I am, <laughs> but it's been a really long time. I'll give you a small clue. My oldest is 31, but yeah. You always have room for improvement, always, always, because, you know, even like our children, we are all, we're also learning all the time. Um, so now I would not, I wouldn't even, yeah, can't give myself a 10, not even close. No. Okay. Next question. Number 10, what words of encouragement can you offer another fellow homeschooler? My biggest encouragement to you is to trust your gut, trust the process, don't worry about the little things. And I can say this coming from a place of, it goes by super, super fast. You know, the saying is, you know, the days are long, but the years are short. It's no joke. Like it seriously flew by. Like I cannot even believe that I have a 31 year old daughter. Like how did that even happen? Um, because it doesn't feel like it's been that long. and Just enjoy every single minute of it. Enjoy the chaos. Even in the midst of the chaos when the kids are screaming and crying and somebody doesn't get how to do something and take a break, you know. Give yourself a time out. I like to give myself a time out even now, you know, when my granddaughter has a whiny day or maybe I'm having a whiny day and I need a time out. Um, yeah, just enjoy every single minute of it. Um, I mean, I look back now and I'm thinking to myself, I'm about to be a grandmother for the fifth time. How did that happen? So yeah, just hold your babies tight. Enjoy every single minute of it. Carrie, you know, wear your babies during homeschool, whatever you have to do to make it work. Yeah. 
just enjoy it. Okay, everyone, that's a wrap. I hope that this um, collaboration was a blessing to you. Um, make sure that you check out the playlist down below to see how everyone else is doing in their homeschool. I can't wait to see everyone else's responses that have joined in. Make sure that um, you also check out the Ingram Chronicles. And if I didn't say it, I probably did. Check out the playlist down below. There'll be some other homeschoolers that have joined in as well. God bless and take care. And I will talk to you again soon.